Hello everyone and welcome to the WCG for Match 5 of the 2021 Australia Day T20 Big Bash which sees the perennial semi-finalists two inches short of a length looking to keep their tournament alive against the men in orange smack my pitch up who get their campaign underway here in Group A. A surprise defeat in the opening match of the tournament to the six offenders leaves the heavyweights two inches short of a length on the brink of elimination and only a victory here will save their campaign. If we take a look at the Group A standings after that opening contest, it is the six offenders who are sitting pretty at the top of Group A after accounting for the perennial semi-finalists in their opening contest, which means a win in this contest for Smack My Pitch Up will see them qualify for the quarterfinals for the first time in their history and resign two inches short of a length to an early exit. It's a massive match five and both captains are in the middle for the toss. So the two inches short of a length captain Hamidul Basha wins the toss and has sent Smack My Pitch up into bat. So as we take a look at the two inches short of a length lineup, it was a rather quiet beginning to the tournament for all three members. None of either Brook, El Basha or Stepin were able to reach double figures with the bat, which resulted in their mediocre total, which was eventually run down by the six offenders. To be fair, they were pretty disciplined with the ball in that opening contest, but it's the fragilities with the bat that they'll have to iron out for this massive clash. As we take a look at the men in orange smack my pitch up side for this tournament, all three members who featured in their debut tournament in last year's edition return for a second crack at glory. The side will be captained by Peter Fowler this time around. He is joined by Daniel Blake, who was the skipper of the side last year. And the men in orange are rounded out by Jake Casaccia, who makes his first appearance at the WCG since the first test match of this summer. Just before we get this contest underway, we'd like to thank our major partners for this year's tournament, Campbelltown Motor Auctions, who have jumped on board for this season, and we thank them once again, and our ever-reliable and long-standing partners, Harley Cranes Group. It is do or die here for the men in red, a massive match five ready to go. So it will be Jake Casaccia to get this innings underway for Smack My Pitch Up. Made 14 and four in his two digs in this tournament last year and he only knows one way to play. So a huge clash here in Group A, ready to get underway. It's gonna be Justin Brook to bowl the first over to Jake Kasatcha. He was in now and he begins with a good length delivery and it's a wild swing first up from Kasatcha, who doesn't make contact and Kasatcha ain't gonna die wondering. So Kasatcha clearly the pinch hitting option at the top of the order as Brook will continue again now to Kasatcha and it's another swing and a miss from the Smack My Pitch Up opener. Well, that could not have been too far away from the stumps. And he's living a charm life to begin with. Here is Brook will continue to Kasatcha in the opening over. And it's another swing and a miss here as Kasatcha advances. So Brook on top here in this opening over. Three welcome dots to begin the contest. Nought for naught in the opening over. As Brook will continue to Kasatcha around the wicket. Here is in now. This one's a good length delivery. And this time he knocks him over. As Kasatcha's luck finally runs out. So they are in early trouble here, the men in orange in the opening over. Kasatcha gone for a duck. Smack my pitch up, one for none. And that's just the start the men in red were looking for. The men in orange, one for none in the opening over. As that wicket now brings the skipper, Peter Fowler, to the crease. The highest score of 18 in this tournament made against Howzat in last year's edition. And his side will be hoping he can replicate that now. So he's got one ball to negotiate in this brook over. Here he's in now, and it's a beautiful cover drive but it's well fielded there from Stepien to end with. A positive start there from Fowler, but it's the men in red on top. One for none after one. It's gonna be Alex Stepien to bowl the second over of the innings, as he'll come in around the wicket here to Fowler, and Fowler advances down the wicket and has a wild swing, and on this occasion doesn't make contact. So it's no first ball wicket here for Stepien, but the men in red all over smack my pitch up here in match five. One for none into the second over, Stepping will continue again now to Fowler. Here in this one's a good length delivery. And it's another swing and a miss from the Smack My Pitch Up skipper. So the men in orange struggling to field bat on ball here in match five. Smack My Pitch Up still yet to get off the mark into the second over. And Stepping will continue again now to Fowler. And it's a hat trick of play and misses here from the Smack My Pitch Up skipper. So they are under the pump big time here in match five. 
They've faced eight deliveries and yet to score a single run here in this match. A stepping on bowl again now to Fowler and the advances. And this one strikes him on the body. And he's going to move through for a leg by to get their account underway. So one for one in the second over. They've got some work to do. So Stepien is in for the final ball of the over. He's in there around the wicket. He bangs his one in short. And Fowler advances. And he gets a top edge over the fence. So it goes from bad to worse for the men in orange. The skipper goes for a duck. And they're two for one after two. Well, this has been just what the doctor ordered here for two inches short of a length. As that wicket now brings Daniel Blake to the crease. The last hope for the men in orange. He's got ten deliveries to get his side up to a decent score. But two inches short of a length here are going for the kill. As it's going to be Justin Brook to bowl the third over of the innings. Here's in there around the wicket. It's a good length delivery played on the onside by Blake. And Obasha has a shot at the stumps and hits him. But I think Blake had his bat down in time. There was no real appeal here from the men in red. Here's we take a look. Yeah, he's clearly back. Smack my pitch up two for one. As Brook will continue around the wicket here to Blake. And he plays this on the onside. And he's going to move through for a single. So that's the first run off the bat for the men in orange. And Blake gets his tally away for the tournament. So I smack my pitch up two for two here in the third over. They have just eight deliveries left in the innings to get themselves up to a decent total. That's going to be a tricky task with Brook bowling well. As he continues around the wicket here to Blake. This one's another delivery that strays onto his pads. And I think this one crashes into his leg this time. And he moves through for a leg bye. So at least things are moving in the right direction here for the men in orange. Two for three as we arrive at the penultimate delivery of the over. Here is Brook is in around the wicket once again. This one's a good length delivery. Blake's able to get this away on the leg side for a much needed boundary. So that's the first boundary of the match. It's come in the third over and it's welcome relief for the men in orange. Brook in for the final delivery of the over. So he continues around the wicket. And this one's a short delivery banged in. It's played uppishly on the offside but it falls short of Stepien who fields for no run to end with. Smack my pitch up two for seven. We arrive at the final over of the innings. It's a skipper, El Basher, the ball around the wicket. Here he's in now, it's a full delivery, it's hit over the fence. And has it come back into the field of play? No, they're cautiously looking, but it's out. That's the innings over for the men in orange. Two inches short of a length at one stage on the brink of elimination. Will now be eyeing up a bonus point here in match five. So a dismal display with the bat here for Smack My Pitch Up. Has seen them bowled out for seven here in match five. The men in orange never got going as they struggled to deal with a very impressive two inches short of a length bowling unit. So the men in red need just eight for victory. And if they can achieve that total inside 10 deliveries, they'll earn a bonus point and qualify for the quarterfinals. So it's going to be Justin Brook who will get this run chase underway for two inches short of a length. Was dismissed for seven in his side's opening match defeat to the six offenders. Can he guide his side home to the points in this one? So it's eight to get here for the men in red. And it's going to be Daniel Blake who will bowl around the wicket for the opening over of the run chase. It's in now around the wicket. It's a full delivery. And it's hit back towards Blake who takes the catch of his own bowling. It's a nightmare start for two inches short of a length. Justin Brook dismissed with the first ball of the run chase. And is there a nasty bit of deja vu setting in here for two inches short of a length? Brook goes for a golden duck. And the men in orange off to the best possible start. Well, the men in red just don't know how to do things the easy way. As that wicket will now bring Alex Steppi into the crease, the second man in for two inches short of a length. Failed to land bat on ball in their opening contest, and they need him to do so here. So it's Daniel Blake who has his tail up to continue around the wicket here to Alex Stepien. Here's in now, it's another full delivery, bang on the money. And Stepien drives his back down the pitch, and it's fielded by Blake for no run. So tense times here at the WCG. Blake will continue again now to step in. And this one's a full toss. And he gets a bit of a leading edge there to Peter Fowler. And once again, it's fielded for no run. He's missed out on an opportunity there, has step in. As Blake is in once again to him now. This one's a short delivery. But he hasn't missed out on this opportunity. As he hammers this away to the boundary. A collective sigh of relief for the men in red. As they're halfway there. Two inches short of a length. One for four. So we arrive at the final ball of the over. And this one's a full delivery, but this one slides down the leg side, and that'll be called a wide. So they take another step towards the target here, do the Reds. Stepien has found himself in similar positions down the years with this side. Here is Blake is in for the final ball of the over, and this one's a full delivery, bang on the money, and it's played the Fowler on the offside to end with. So two inches short of a length, just three runs away. 
It's Peter Fowler will bowl the second over of the innings. He begins with a short delivery. Oh, he's got to need through to the keeper. Stepien is gone. It's history about to repeat itself here at the Australia Day T20 Big Bash. They are floundering in the eyes of another small total. And smack my pitch up are now just one wicket away from booking a quarter-final spot. Amazing scenes. Well, it's now all come down to the skipper, Hamid Basha, who walks out to the crease, the last hope for two inches short of a length. Given the fine margins of the Australia Day T20 Big Bash, they're actually still in range of a bonus point. But they're also on the cusp of elimination, as Peter Fowler will continue now to Hamid Basha. Here he's in now. Oh, but it's a high full toss, and that'll be called a no ball. So that'll be one to the title and has to be re -bowled. So it's just two to get now for the men in red. One wicket for the orange. As Fowler's in once again to El Basher, and it's a short delivery, and it's played on the offside, and he'll move through for a single. So scores are level here at the WCG. El Basher might have put that away to the boundary, but he took the conservative approach. So if they can get a run here off these next three deliveries, they'll get a bonus point. Fowler into El Basher. Here he's in now, this one's a back of a lane delivery, and El Basher drops this on the offside, and moves through for the single, which gives the Reds the win. They've done things the hard way once again, the men in red, but they've got there all the same. The skipper holding his nerve at the end to guide his side home, gaining a bonus point in the process. And from the brink of elimination, they have turned it around to become the first side to seal their passage through to the quarterfinals. So in yet another tense low scoring affair, two inches short of a length, sneak home by one wicket and gain a bonus point in the process to move to the top of Group A and qualify for the quarterfinals. It was a valiant effort with the ball for Smack My Pitch Up who hung in there and nearly, just nearly pulled off an unlikely victory. But not enough runs in this contest has cost them. And it's now do or die for the men in orange in the final fixture of Group A. So as we take a look at the standings after two matches, the men in red rocket to the top of Group A after this bonus point win. However, if the six offenders can knock off the men in orange in their next match, they will finish top of the group. However, all is not lost for the men in orange. A win against the six offenders without any bonus points in the contest will see them pip the men in yellow on head-to-head -head record. So there's still a lot to play for in the final match of Group A. So as we look ahead to the next match of the tournament, we head to Group B where the champions, Nice Gary, will be looking to seal top spot against the highly fancied Puffin Billies who have strengthened for this year's edition. Can they knock off the reigning champs?